hello friends most welcome to my youtube channel and the crash course of psycholinguistics in this video we will discuss about the acquisition of syntax by children or we can say the syntactic development and child language acquisition it is also called the grammatical development and child language in this video we will also discuss MLU mean length of utterance. We will also discuss the acquisition of negatives and attractives by children. Okay, in the previous videos we have already discussed about the acquisition of phonology in child language and the acquisition of morphology and the acquisition of uh, semantics. And uh, if you want to watch those videos the link is given in the video description. And please subscribe to my YouTube uh, channel. I would be much thankful. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's start our video on the acquisition of syntax. Okay, what is syntax? Syntax refers to those rules according to which words are combined to make meaningful sentences. A speaker of a human language can produce and understand an infinite number of sentences but the speaker don't have any mental dictionary of all those possible sentences and their structures it is because the speaker has grammatical rules in mind called syntax according to which every possible sentence is made according to chomsky syntax is the study of the principles by which sentences are constructed in a particular language okay what is syntactic development it refers to the process by which children acquire syntactic rules to construct meaningful sentences a child is not born with toric syntactic rules of his mother tongue instead the child acquires those rules children can't imitate every sentence they hear Instead, they show productive rules to construct, to construct sentences. It means that an acquisition of sentence descriptive grammar is involved. For example, a child was asked to imitate uh, the sentence. The all who eats candy runs fast. The child responded, the all eat candy and he runs fast. So you can see the difference. The acquisition of syntax begins when the child produces the two-word speech about two years of age. Syntactic development proceeds and stages. Now here are stages of syntactic development. Okay, the very first stage and the acquisition of syntax are we can say in the syntactic development is the one-word stage or the holophrastic stage. This stage begins when the children are about 12 to 18 months old. In this stage, the child utters a single word to express the meaning of a whole sentence. The meaning of the utterance depends on the context in which the child is speaking. These are called hollow phrases. More. It means I want more milk. Mama, it may mean mama should come here. Ball, the child may say ball. And it may mean uh, give me the ball. At this stage, we cannot trace syntactic features. Okay, the second stage and the acquisition of syntax is the two word stage. This stage occurs when the child is about 18 to 24 months old, or we can say 2 years old. Okay, mama reading, doggy playing, kitty tired. Now it is actually at the two word stage that, the, that there appear syntactic features in child language. In the two word speech, speech uh, mostly the first word is the subject and the second word is the verb. So it means that at the two word stage, the child language is following the subject verb 
object uh, agreement of the English sentence. For example, doggy runs, subject and verb, push the ball, verb plus object. Okay, the third stage and the acquisition of uh, syntax by children is the telegraphic speech. This stage occurs when the child is about 24 to 30 months old. When the child adds another word to the two word speech, it becomes telegraphic speech. In telegraphic speech, children omit the functional morphemes such as uh, articles, auxiliaries, and the verbal inflection. For example, the child may say, Nick, go to school. Mama, read book. Rose, want that. These are telegraphic uh, sentences created by children. The telegraphic speech is following the subject, verb, object order of English sentences. And if we the syntax, if we draw the syntactic tree of the telegraphic sentence, it is totally similar to the adult utterances. So at this stage, the child has developed the rudimentary syntax. For example, we have drawn the syntactic tree of the telegraphic uh, speech. The first sentence is neck want that. So sentence and sentence there are two phrases noun phrase and verb phrase the noun phrase is neck and the verb phrase is further divided into verb phrase and noun phrase verb phrase want and noun phrase that and there is also given another example sentence uh, divided into noun phrase and verb phrase noun phrase mama and verb phrase is further divided into verb phrase plus noun phrase verb phrase is read and noun phrase book so mama read book okay what is mean length of utterance okay mean length of utterance is a technique used to measure the linguistic development on the basis of chronological age, for example, we say one year old child, two year old child, three years old child, four years old child. So, on the basis of the chronological age, linguistic development cannot be correctly measured because the age at which, uh, at which each child reached a certain stage can vary by months. So, linguistic development or we can say syntactic development is measured through MLU mean length of utterances mean length of utterance is measured in terms of morphemes it can be defined as the number of morphemes per utterance for example the child produces the following uh, sentence kitty tired mama reading book go home now so now let us count the mean length of utterance of these sentences. The mean length of utterance can be measured by counting the number of morphemes in all these sentences and dividing it by the further by the number of sentences produces. Kitty tired. There are three morphemes in this sentence. Mama reading book. There are four morphemes in this sentence go home now three morphemes in this sentence so the total number of morphemes is 10 and the total number of utterances is 3 so the mean length of utterance of this chart is 3.3 okay now let us discuss the acquisition of negatives and interrogatives by children the age at which children acquire negative and attractive sentences can vary from child to child, but the general pattern is given below. The first stage, 18 to 26 months. The second stage, 22 to 30 months. The third stage, 24 to 40 months. Now, acquisition of interrogatives. The first stage. At the first stage, WH form is added at the beginning of expression and rising intonation at the end. 
For example, the child may say, where daddy, where go, said chair. Now here we have the second stage in the acquisition of interrogatives by children. It is uh, here more complex expressions affair. What book name? See my kitty. You want that? Now here we have the third stage uh, in acquisition of interrogatives. At this stage, mostly adult-like interrogative expressions are found by children. What did you do? Why kitty can't stay? How that opened? Now let us discuss the acquisition of negatives by children. At the first stage uh, in acquisition of uh, negatives, simple no or not is put at the beginning. For example, the child may say not a teddy bear, no set hair. Now the second stage, the addition of don't and can't appear in children uh, language. For example, the child may say neck, don't go, kitty can't stage. Now here is the third stage in the acquisition of negatives by children. Adult-like expressions are produced in the third stage. For example, the child may say this not ice cream, he not taking it. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Next, we will discuss about critical feeder hypothesis about critical age. We will discuss theories of language acquisition. We will also discuss internal language. We will also discuss uh, error analysis and more about psycholinguistics. So, see you soon and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks.